I do believe, frankly and, and sadly, that it could happen again. On July 6, 2013, a runaway train carrying crude oil derailed and exploded in the southeastern Quebec town of Lac Megantic, killing 47 people. Ten years later, some say not enough has changed when it comes to rail safety. To minimize the risk, there's a lot more that they could do that they're not doing. Citizens continue to fight. Some hundred residents forming the Coalition of Rail Safety and inspecting the rails themselves. It's really frustrating, you know, that we're not secure by our authorities, you know. We don't feel secure that our authorities don't protect us. Trains continue to pass through Lac Megantic day and night, down the same slope and curve where the train derailed 10 years ago. Trains are getting longer and longer and heavier and heavier, and there's more hazardous material. The fear is still present. In April 2023, a freight train derailed in Maine about 56 kilometers after passing through Lac Megantic. Everybody uh, knows everybody, you know. So it's really affecting, you know, it's really... Uh, every time we pass in that, this deserted downtown, you know, uh, it's... Uh, it's really hard. The Transportation Safety Board of Canada, TSB, which advances transportation safety in the country, says three out of five of their recommendations following the tragedy have been concluded. We're satisfied with some of the progress that's been made, but there is still more to do to reduce the risk of another lac -Megansic. The two outstanding recommendations include the regulatory oversight of safety management. We still see incidents of railway operators who are, um, you know, not adequately identifying hazards in their operations or managing the risks uh, to a, a level as low as, as reasonably practicable. And Transport Canada hasn't always been effective at identifying that and holding the, the, uh, the railway companies uh, to account. They've also called for improvements to braking systems to reduce the risk of runaway trains. We are urging uh, the railway industry and the government to take more timely action to implement systems that will reduce the risk of those uh, runaway, uh, those uncontrolled movements. Stronger brakes, more advanced braking systems. Um, and the reason is they cost money and the railways delay and obstruct. In a statement to City News, Transport Canada says that since the 2013 tragedy, Transport Canada has adopted more stringent measures and requirements to protect communities along railways and taken many measures to reduce the risk of uncontrolled movement of railway equipment. The passage of time, memories fade, so does the resolve of the government to, to, to take the necessary action. In Montreal, Tina Teneriello, City News.